supply systems offline. Main centrifuge offline for repairs. Damn it. That's what I thought. What? The gravity centrifuge is under repair. I'm gonna have to go down to engineering. This should be interesting. Is it safe? I don't know how it could be. I'll let you know. I know this game is a lot more linear than Metroid. But it still gives me some Metroid vibes in a way that makes me... ...you know, want to play it, one of the Prime games. I'm not going to anytime soon, but eventually. Yeah, it's an atmosphere thing, it's the doors, it's the, you know, upgrading your suit. Yeah, they did kind of just put plastic and tape all over it, huh? Good for them. Oh, well, I mean, priorities are... in check. Someone said it's only natural, as, uh, this is inspired by Alien. It's amazing how Ridley Scott, with those two movies, inspired so many generations of sci-fi. Like, so many movies and, and authors and artists and games and everything. Just those two movies in particular, it's- it's nuts. And he's just sucked ever since. Okay, that's not true. He hasn't been as influential, but he's had some great movies here and there. I still think Kingdom of Heaven Director's Cut is an essential Ridley Scott movie. Throwing that out there. But watch the Director's Cut only. Oh, The Martian's cool, Gladiator's cool if a bit overrated, but I still think Gladiator's a fun movie. That Jail Queen Phoenix is in there. And he's he's pretty good in that. Um, Prometheus, someone said they liked Prometheus. I like aspects of Prometheus. I think it's it's not uh, people give it a lot of shit, but I, I have an affinity for some of that movie. Get health. Uh I'm not sure about the health thing because it's so far away. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. Someone said, why save up? Um, contact. It's six away? One, two... Oh, it's, it's six. Uh. There you go. The contact gun. I will continue saving for that. Someone said Ridley Scott is my most missed emote. I, I feel you on that, but it was him farting as an old man, and it was a really... Someone was like, real nice, Vin. Nice emote of an old incontinent man farting during an interview. And I was like, oh. I felt kind of bad about that. I kind of like Ridley Scott too much to want to immortalize him farting in my chat room. Like, he's done so many good things that now people only know him as an emote of him farting. So yeah, I, I don't know, I didn't... And it also didn't really... It, it just... And there's other Gasm emotes that look better. So this is the optional path. I've wanted to... Oh, oh my Gasm emote looks confused. Well, remember, it was taken from a video where I was not actually... Intending to make an emote. It was just me like shouting and someone made a thing out of it Vinny this is backwards. Uh Oh Yeah, the um The Ridley Scott movie. I haven't seen all of his movies, but there is an early one The, the duelists and it's about um I think it's like 17th or 18th century dueling, you know with those flintlock pistols and stuff and it released right around the same time as Kubrick's Barry Lyndon. So I've been meaning to see that. Uh, Barry Lyndon being one of my favorite movies of all time. And... I'd like to see what Ridley did with the- with the subject matter. But Barry Lyndon- <laughs> I'm taking this with me! Uh, Barry Lyndon is- is- as discussed in many other streams, can be a very boring movie. Can be a very difficult movie to get into. But... It's a three-hour movie that, when I watch it now, it flies by like it's an hour. Like, I just fucking love watching that movie. It's so... It's so beautiful, and... But I still think Alien is Ridley Scott's best movie, even though Blade Runner is my favorite. 
speaking of this game being inspired heavily by Alien, Alien to me is like almost a perfect movie. Also, there's a short film called Slice of Life that uh, I gotta show you the trailer for because it's amazing. It hasn't come out yet, the short film itself, but um, I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, Aliens is great too. They're both great. Those two movies together, you, they're essential, both of them. You know, sci-fi is uh, obviously my favorite genre, so I'm a little biased, but... I also would love to see a better cut of Alien 3. Fincher just gave up on it. But apparently... Like, I kind of want to see a director's cut of that movie. Apparently there's, there's a lot of stuff that was cool that was cut. But he just doesn't even want to talk about it or acknowledge it. I don't think I meant the assembly cut, by the way, so never mind. I'm, I'm thinking of footage that probably wasn't even shot. Vinny, did you see that people are going to the Joker stairs? Really? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. How about the, um... How about the stairs from The Exorcist? Jay Bauman went there. He said they're scary <laughs> because they're so fucking, like, steep. What are the Joker stairs? Oh, God. Uh, it's like Joker's trick, but... Stairs. It, it's, it's from the movie The Joker, the new movie. It's just stairs that he goes down. Oh, that got me. Oh! Uh. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> Oh, I'd love it. And people told me they wanted me to turn the 60 frames a second off. We wouldn't have had that. That was fantastic. It hasn't ruined the mood for me. I still love the game. It's just, that's, that's amazing. Vinny, those stairs are in the Bronx. The Joker stairs? <laughs> I, I'm not that far from the Bronx. I've never had a reason to go to the Bronx ever. Well, I do want to go to the Bronx Zoo. I haven't been to the Bronx Zoo since I was a kid. I kind of miss it. So much that said, so just the Bronx. That is massive. Ow. That is a massive joke you just made there. Massive. Uh, well, there's also City Island, which is... just a little island that's floating. Just, just near the Bronx. It's really nice. I like City Island. What just happened to that? Isaac. I love this game. Like there weren't gonna be monsters here. Couldn't see it. <sighs> Just poor plays. It, it, the checkpoints have been very generous. See shit, Captain. Oh, no. This game is fucking hard on this difficulty. I like it. It's good. Does anybody else, anyone else have a problem on this here ship? Anyone? If we were all together on, on, like, a spaceship... You know some of us would be tossed out the airlock. It would be like the Expanse. It could be me. Could be you. Could be me. I have a fit there would be an uprising and everybody would get me out the airlock first. I've always said the stream would be great if it, you know... I'm on my way to the centrifuge. 
Just be careful. I'll call you when it's online. The stream would be great if it weren't for me. <laughs> I'm kidding, chat. Come on, the stream is excellent. Look at how excellent this gameplay is tonight. See these excellent gameplays? I mean, I just, I have a gamer urge to do good things in video games, and tonight I'm really proving my gamer urges. Which again, if you want to know the context of gamer urge, please watch the David Cronenberg movie Existence. I really think... Chat, whoever watched Existence last night, would you recommend the movie Existence for the rest of the gamers in chat? Yes. I see, I see a lot of yeses. I see some maybes! E-X-I-S-T-E-N-Z. Please watch that movie. However you can find it, you'll love it. It's hilarious. And really stupid, but also kind of amazing. It's about, like, VR meet- meet VR. Um, with levels of Inception and weird performances and, like, a, a meat gun. That's all I can say to describe it. And Cronenberg is the director that made The Fly, which is a great movie. And Naked Lunch. The Dick Pill. What do you mean, the Dick Pill? Fly? The Sp Spanish Fly? Oh, Extends. Oh, I s Oh. Okay. That's- that- that's good, chat. You're operating on- on a different level. Is it time to get the detonator, you think? And then the contact beam, and just ignore the flamethrower completely? Okay, force gun was fun for a while, but it's time to detonate. I think I even have a couple mines here. Yeah, I do. Has there ever- ha someone said, has there ever been a good flamethrower in a game? I like the Turok 2 flamethrower. I don't remember if it was any good. It just looked cool at the time, because it had 3D flame. TF2, sure. Verdun, Killing Floor, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Someone just said in chat, don't forget to wash your force gun. Thank you for that. Detonator. Uh, okay, hang on, I, I gotta read the detonator one more time. Primary fire. Uh, press left mouse click to deploy a single proximity mine. Press space to disarm the last deployed mine for recovery. Oh. Uh, Okay. So you- okay. That's cool. Really good for raptors, it's like the mines in Half-Life. You know, I just- I really just want to play Half-Life. Black Mesa Source, rather, with Zen fully completed. I'll just keep waiting patiently. Play Half-Life 1 mods. Well, Minerva, I hear, is a really good one. Uh, that might be Half-Life 2, I don't remember. Did anyone make a mod? for Black Mesa Source using the Half-Life 1 weaponry and setting in Half-Life 2. Like Half-Life Source. I don't know, don't worry about it. It's- it, the question makes sen sense in my head, but... Sorry, I've, I went this way. I'm really good at going the wrong way, just to make sure I found everything. And thus, um, wasting lots of time and going back to whence I came. Did someone import Black Mesa weapons into Half-Life 2, you mean? I mean that, but also then make a mod around them. There's only a couple mods and map packs for Black Mesa, like the Uplink remake. Oh, I'd be interested in checking that out. Yeah, just like using all of Black Mesa's, like, um, textures and stuff, and, and making more Half-Life 1 related content. Black Mesa has Workshop. Oh, I check that out. I'm gonna save those, I think. Or maybe I'll, you know, I'll upgrade the detonator once, and then I'll save the rest for Contact Gun. It's from the first game? Oh, I don't remember a lot of the first game. Sorry, a year ago. You may as well be asking me to remember dinosaurs. Contact Gun needs 26 nerds to fully upgrade. Well, I definitely won't be upgrading it fully. Vinny, do you remember dinosaurs? I do, the show? I only remember the depressing last episode. The catchphrase... ...and the puppets. But not very much about- I thought it was a fever dream. Did you see that head roll? I hope I didn't burst the nurse improperly. No, I got him.
Uh, did I do that? Wrong catchphrase. That was Urkel. Sorry, I, that, that's not the dinosaur catchphrase at all. Whenever I think of Urkel, I think Sonic. And I know he was the voice, Jaleel was also the voice of Sonic, but it's- it's more than that. It's- it's a time. It's an attitude. It's a- a ratitude. It's no good! It was just a- yeah, like a time period that I associate heavily with- with Sonic. Cause, you know, I played Sonic when I was younger, I thought it was... You know, I- I thought video game was video game, I just don't own the video game. It wasn't until later that I got mad about not owning video game. Fuck you! Yeah, I didn't play favorites until later in life. You know, for a while when I was younger, it was just... My friends have Sega, I don't, but that's okay, because I have Mario and Zelda, and I'll just play Sonic at their house. And then the fucking ads, Sega does, what Nintendo don't. And people started inventing these bizarre console wars. And it was like, oh, I guess I gotta choose a side. And then it was like, people would, people would come together about the things they hated more so than the things they liked. And it's real annoying. <laughs> Great. Where did he come from? I mean, I was using the wrong weapon, clearly, but... Oh, that was easy. Okay, so my plan was to, at that moment, I was gonna run to the back, have them follow me, and then shoot them all with explosives. Vinny, but talking about stuff you hate opens opportunities for improvement, depending on what kind of person you are. But, I don't, uh... I mean, if you hate Sonic, how do you improve your life? And on some levels, sure, maybe I can agree with that, but it's maybe not applying exactly to what I was talking about. My plan is not working. That's okay, I want to die. I think, sh yeah, sharing an opinion is good, but just, you know, screaming into the void on the schoolyard about how Sega is terrible and Nintendo is the best and vice versa. That didn't really accomplish very much. Because it wasn't even sharing opinions, it was just like, I got this thing so it's better! That's what I meant. That's- that's more what I meant. Why, well, you- you are fast! It's worth it for the power, nerd. I thought more was coming at me than was, because the corpse of the big dude came with him. Alright, this time... It's gonna be great. Jesus. This- this hallway is the stuff of nightmares. Of all the things I could have been killed by.
I have z no HP. Zero health. <laughs> That's good. I- yep, good. I blew up the big boy in the wrong way, and- and it exploded into little babs. And it turned into, um... My personal nightmare. I heard you. I heard you, you fucker. You weren't quiet enough. God! What? <sighs> yeah, this- this is definitely- and- Mouse and keyboard has become a necessity at this point. No longer a leisurely stroll through horror land. Th this is now- I need to shoot at best. At best shoot. Um, I'm gonna do up until one more save point, I think, and then we'll smash, but yes. I need b all the best shoots. If anyone remembers, how do I, how do I lift off the ground, on control on uh, mouse and keyboard? Alt. And uh, one more dumb question: How do you reorient yourself in in the world? No, in how do you? What, what about what was that? Z. Thank you, chat. You're really on point. Have you played this recently, chat members? What's happening? I know what's happening. This is a different- this is not, like, just do the bab. I get it. Haha, <laughs> I get the picture. <laughs> yep, I saw it in chat. I, I it just inspired me to do this Stellazio voice. Whee. Worst voice? <laughs> Every one of my voices is the worst voice to someone, and also the best voice. My regular voice is the worst voice to someone, guaranteed. Regular me Vinny, that's right, like regular Nintendo. Which... It's funny because I thought regular Nintendo was just some stupid thing that, like, me and a couple of my friends and my cousin said. And then I realized, like, a lot of people said it. Like, for example, Mike from Red Letter Media did a stream with Jack and Rich back in the day, and they were talking about Dr. Mario because Mike Staclaza likes to play Dr. Mario. And he, uh, okay. What are we doing here? And he called it regular Nintendo, and my heart was warmed. Someone just said it hit the boomer vibes, didn't it? Half of that sentence was just buzzwords. But you're right, I mean, technically, you're not wrong. If we're gonna use the, um, the word boomer the way the kids are using it these days, which I'm happy to oblige. I don't need to be cool, but if we're all on the same page verbally, at least then maybe we can understand each other. Son. What was this machine designed to do? It, it's a jabroni device. It's, it's designed to jabro jabroninate your, uh, your vibes. <laughs> the worm was in Dead Space 1, but did the worm survive, or did Isaac kill the worm? Oh, right. No, I got it. Never mind. I see what happened. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's really playing with me with this hell room. It's subverting expectations. God, that's a long animation.
Oi! Boy, you survived a lot of shots. Next time I have to stasis more. I mean, I should have enough ammo for this. Just make sure everything is loaded up properly. I kind of want to set some mines, but I also want to save them for when the big boys arrive. Oi! I don't want to have to- Ah, oh, God, I gotta do this whole thing again? Fuck. I mean, I got it this time. You can check in, but you can never leave. Did you just quote Hotel California? That, you know, that's an insta-ban. You can't quote the Eagles on this stream. That glass broke first this time. Yeah, no, okay. Okay. Yeah! Ragdolled! And I don't hate the Eagles, they're fine. I like that Desperado song. The Eagles suck, bro! You know what's weird about the Eagles sucking? Is that they've sold hundreds of millions of records. So, while I may not like the Eagles, and you may not like the Eagles either, they're millionaires because they sold that many records so they, they're good at something no i mean it, yeah the, the eagles are, are a very easy to hate band that's why i mentioned that especially people that like like prog and stuff tend to hate the eagles in my experience i don't know why it's something i've noticed I know those things can coexist in some universe, but... Thoughts on the Eagles. Yep, that was it. That was the last enemy, huh? Stuck in a reload animation. While getting vomited upon. Yo, King Gizzard has a good song about this. Why are the Eagles so easy to hate? Um, because they're like light rock with a little bit of country. And it's like kind of corny. I don't really know. I mean, it's just a, a band that a lot of people be like, Oh, you like the Eagles? Ugh. I had a greatest hits for the Eagles, and I, I liked it. Take it easy, I really like. Like I said, Desperado is great. Life in the Fast Lane's cool. They've, they got some good songs. Especially when Joe Walsh joined, too. The guitar solos are really good. Oh, I think I hate this room. Vinny, I think your falsettos are phenomenal in Red Vox. Tell me more. No, thank you. I, I'm working on them. I think the next one's gonna have better ones. But thank you, that's really... I, you know, that's a tough one for me, so I, I work on it. I've always liked falsetto in, uh, in my songs every now and then. That's another thing. I like bands with harmonies. That's why I like the Beach Boys and the Beatles so much. I just think harmonies... Sounds so great. Um, like oohs and ahs and shit. The Eagles do that really well. I can't believe we're talking about the Eagles tonight. The Eagles and Dead Space are two subjects you'd never expect to go together. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Really? I was doing great! I was doing great! You cut! Oh! Vinny, the game only gets harder from here on out. Listen. As long, as long as I'm not confined to a small room like this for the rest of the game, I will be happy. I know he was below me, I couldn't see him, it was totally pitch black. It was dark.
that was not even that good. I, I ended up with one HP. Like, I could have done that so much cleaner. God damn it. It's fine, at least it's over now, for fuck's sake. Just happy that sequence is over. God damn it. Spoke too goddamn soon. 